Good morning from Kuala Lumpur. Thanks for joining us again for another day exploring the city of KL. And we're gonna get right to it. We're going out for lunch right now and we are gonna go to the most popular shopping mall in Kuala Lumpur called The Pavilion. And it's time for a haircut for me. And then we're gonna go over to the Batu Caves. So let's go. Let's go. We're Ronnie and Jeremy, and we're digital nomads traveling around the world. We've spent the last two years living in Southeast Asia during a global pandemic. Now we're back on the move again on our quest to visit every country in the world. We're documenting our journey in hopes that it will inspire and help others to purchase their first plane ticket to a foreign destination. And we hope you'll come along with us for the ride. right now and this is a real mall so you can find any brand in here not fake that's a real <laughs> it's big enough to get lost yeah <laughs> Okay, we have landed at Ipudo here in the Pavilion Shopping Mall in Kuala Lumpur. I told you earlier this is the number one rated shopping mall in Kuala Lumpur. It actually ranks like number eight on their attractions, like yeah. everything in the city. And I can see why. It's quite big. Uh, you can get lost. It's like a maze. They have all the luxury brands. They have mid-level brands. They have lots of food of every kind of variety. So and we try to explore. We ordered two bowls of ramen and some sashimi, salmon, yes. and some specialty teas. We'll give you a review very soon. Just got our appetizers here at Ipudo. We're having uh, some salmon roll. Yeah, salmon roll kind of starter. Some warm salmon with some warm rice and some cucumber and some crunchy tempura on top for texture. And cucumber. Yeah, quite delicious. Yeah. Nice way to start the meal. I could probably eat 20 of these. <laughs> salmon cheers. Hefty bowls of what was it called? Chashu? Chashu, yeah. Chashu it's pork. Belly, yeah. Nice soft pork belly with spring onion and seaweed and boiled eggs and chicken broth. Yeah. Looks quite tasty. We're gonna dig in. It smells, it smells good. good. I'm sure it's as good as the salmon, which we already finished, I think, in 30 seconds. Yeah. So we're getting more salmon. It's absolutely fabulous. <laughs> I usually don't get pork when I order ramen. I'm usually a chicken guy. I like that chicken noodle taste, but the pork belly and the chicken broth is a perfect win-win. You get the best of both worlds. Lots of places in the world, lots of barbers. This is a proper hotel. Just surprise me. Okay. One, two, three. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Kecil ketis. Alright, another clean shave here at Hook Barbershop. This is my first Kuala Lumpur haircut. Another success. Great service. I also got the, the nose waxing and the ear waxing. I feel like a new man. And the service charge was 35 US dollars for the hair shave and the waxing of the nose and ears, which is about 155 Malaysian ringgits. A great service, I highly recommend. <laughs> Look at the eyes, <laughs> it's big like my face. <laughs> so we stopped here for a refreshing drink. Chagi. Chagi. It's a fruit infused tea place. And somehow we ended up with a 1000 milliliter fresh fruit tea that's bigger than Ronnie's head. Yeah. And this is uh, 20 ringgit for this big. 20 ringgits or four dollars and fifty cents USD. Bonnie's gonna give it a taste. Yep. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. Yeah. It's worth it with the price. We made it over to the Batu Caves here in Kuala Lumpur. It's just on the outskirts of the city. Not even really the outskirts, but like on the perimeter, I guess. You can still see tall buildings in the distance from the cave area here. At the base, you have this big tourist parking lot. And then there's a lot of steps that go up to the cave, which is also a temple. So there is active worship here mixed with a bunch of tourists that come to see the cave and see all the wild monkeys. <laughs> So we're gonna try to make our way closer. We've started to climb to the top of Batu Cave area. Steps are a bit steep. I lost count already. Ronnie's up ahead of me. We should be there in a couple of minutes. It's not that far. We have made it to the top of the Batu Cave. I don't know how many steps. I'll count on the way down. But it takes some effort to not lose count when you're watching out for those monkeys because they're everywhere. And anytime they could <laughs> snag your camera, or your bag, or your milk, as you saw. So now we're just gonna explore the top here of the cave. There's some uh, vendors with prime real estate. I think they must have paid a big donation tax to get this space. It's a good idea. Yeah, so <laughs> we're gonna look around and Head back down and I'll give you the total step count.
so we found this Nestle ice cream and I took the almond. This is the best part if you visit this Batu Cave. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. <laughs> We just walked down from the Batu Cave and uh, it was 240 steps to the top, plus a lot of landings. Plus the monkeys. Plus the monkeys. <laughs> so, makes you pretty tired. And it's a pretty warm day here today. Not as much breeze as yesterday, I don't think. And we're gonna wander on down here and check out all the wares these vendors are selling and check out the other Hindu statues that are along the temple here. to Malaysia's central market here in Kuala Lumpur. And it's just what you'd expect to be. It's a kind of flea market, if you know what that is. Lots of stalls and uh, people selling different wares and different categories of items. So there's also restaurants on the second level. Uh, spa also you can find here. <laughs> yeah, there's a reflexology spa. A little bit of everything. And uh, we just got some coffee and now we're gonna try to find some lunch before we uh, make our way through the rest of the market. So Bukit Bintang shopping area is just down the street from the Pavilion shopping mall. And we had to come back to our favorite juice stand to get some more fresh squeezed orange juice. So they call this is Champada. It's a junk fruit. But they fry, so I'm good. Just a banana with the fries. Just the bread. Okay, my turn. I've got fried banana. And I'm sure mine's gonna be better because, as I told Ronnie, banana is on the top level of the fruit chain. Why everybody has it? Kind of odd. Good, but not what I expected. I like this banana. <laughs> I think this is a banana. I think it's some like different fruit. It kind of tastes like a banana and it's soft like banana. I don't know. I don't. It's quite mushy. Hi. 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 Jeremy, hi. That's me.
we're going to close today's adventure vlog here at Jalan Petaling in Chinatown of Kuala Lumpur. If you enjoy this adventure vlog around the city, we hope you'll smash that like button and share this video with all your friends. And if you really enjoy world travel content and you want to keep moving around the world with us, we hope you'll subscribe to our channel and check that notification bell so you know when our new videos are uploaded each week. But remember, you don't have to be a Kentucky to travel with us. You just gotta have fun. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep on keeping on. Cheers. Cheers.